Hello everyone, how are you? I'm Fiore and today you will have for homework the starters exam extra homework number seven and to do that we will need to practice that exercise. So this page is going to be our first activity, okay? So this is from the Get Ready for Starters book, page 56. Get Ready for Starters book, page 56. It says, Starters Practice Test. Read and writing part five. Look at the pictures and read the questions. Write one word answers. So the first thing I want to ask you is if you look at the picture, can you tell me where is the girl? Is she in front of the mother, behind the mother or by the mother? What do you think? Which preposition is the correct one? Where is the girl? Where is the girl? The girl is in front of her mom, behind her mom, or by her mom, next to her mom. What do you think? Okay, good, excellent. Behind her mom, very good. So we only need to write one word, okay? Excellent. What's the woman wearing? A blue, what is this? It's very easy, a blue, yes, very good. A blue dress, excellent. Now, look at this picture. Which animal is the boy pointing at? Who is the boy? This or this man? Good, this is the boy and this is the father. Good, and which animal is the boy pointing at? What is this animal? Excellent, this is a snake, very good. He's pointing at the snake. Excellent. And what's the mouse doing? What's the man doing? Here we have ing. So we need an answer with the verb in ing. Good. So what is the mouse doing? Good. Sleeping. Excellent, excellent. The mouse is sleeping. Very good. And which animal is running? Which animal is running? Yes, excellent. The dog. The dog is running. Very, very good. Okay, excellent. Let me know when you finish copying. Have you finished copying? This was a very, very easy exercise. This is what you have to do in the extra homework number seven for the start exam. Okay? Very good. So you have to look at the picture and answer the questions with only one word. Excellent. Okay, and now we are going to check last class homework. Okay, first we are going to check the handout and with your teacher in Zoom you are going to check who did and who didn't do the online practice. Okay, so 
label the picture. We had to write the names of these places. So this one with a lot of grass, trees, and this is a place where you can go for a walk or maybe you can meet with friends and have a picnic. Yes, very good. This is the park. Excellent. And what about this place? Here we have a police car, so what is this? Yes, it's the police station. Very good. And this one is, we have a lot of cards and there is a woman living with bags, shopping bags. Yes, excellent. This is the supermarket. Very good. This one is the supermarket. Excellent. And what about this one? What is this place called? Write on the chat. Very good. This is the bus station. Excellent. This is the bus station. And this one? This is a place where you go to see films, movies. You can go with your family, you can go with your friends. Very good, it's the cinema. Excellent, the cinema. And what is this? What is this? We have a girl living with a book. So this is the library, very good. This is the library. And this is the, very good, this is the museum. Excellent. And this place is, very good, the cafe. Excellent, the cafe. And here we have a lot of people swimming, diving. What are, where are they? Sorry, where are they? Right on the chat. Yes, they are in the swimming pool. Excellent, they are in the swimming pool. And look, we have the thief here. Where did the thief come from? He's leaving the post office. Very good. He's leaving the post office. And this place is a Restaurant. Excellent. Restaurant. Very good. Okay, excellent. So remember to tick the words that you did correctly. Okay. And what about this one? What did you write here? We had to answer these questions. Where do you go for the swim? You go to the swimming pool, of course. And where do you go for just a drink? Very good. You go to the cafe. Excellent. And where do you go for a meal? Yes, very good. You go to the restaurant. And for the book, where do you go? Very good, you go to the library. And for the walk, you go to, yes, the park. Excellent. Okay, great. And now, let's see if you could write any other words here. 
For example, very good, hospital, yes, keep writing them on the chat. Hospital, hotel, very good. Fire station, okay. What else? Okay, the shopping mall. Very good. What else? Any other words that you know? No? Okay. If you know more, then write on the chat and the teacher will tell you if it is correct or incorrect. And now think about more places. Where do you go? To buy some food. Very good. The supermarket. What about to watch a movie? You go to... Yes, the cinema. And to take a bus? You go to... Good. You go to the bus station. And to see a film, you also go to the cinema, yes? And to send a letter, to the post office, very good. Excellent, very, very good. Okay, and here you had to draw one of the things that you've wrote here that you've written so I'm going to draw a hospital okay very good well this is not the best drawing I've ever made but Pretty good, considering I'm in the computer. Okay, great. We can add one more, the school, right? Very good. Okay, and now, now that we've checked the homework, please don't forget to write <clears throat> self-corrected or corrected in class, okay? And now we are going to go to the book, okay? We are going to go to the... Oh, sorry. Not yet. First, we had to practice a little bit more about these um, places in town, okay? Before we go to the book. So, let's go to this handout. This handout is called Places in Town. Vocabulary. So, it says, where am I? Where am I? Are you there? Good. Okay, so, In this exercise, we have to try to use these words in the correct sentence, okay? We have to write in which place do we do those things, those actions, okay? So the first one says, I'm sitting at my desk and I'm listening to the teacher. So I'm in the classroom at a school, good. I'm walking my dog I'm looking at trees. So, where is this person? I'm in the park. Very good, because we are walking our dog and we're looking at trees. Great. I'm doing a water sport with my friends. 
am doing a water sport with my friends. I'm in the very good in the swimming pool. Excellent. I'm sitting at a small table having a drink. I'm in the cafe. Excellent. I'm sitting with my friend. We are watching a film. I'm in. Very good. I'm in the cinema. Excellent. I'm looking at lots of old things. Lots of old things. So what is it? Where is this person? I'm in the museum. Very good. And I'm sitting and waiting for the bus. I'm in the bus station. Very good. These sentences were very, very easy. Fantastic. Okay, so now we can go to the Discovered English 1, page 60, please. So, Discovered English 1, page 60. Okay, if you finished copying, then you can find that page. In the book, Discovered English 1. Let me know when you're there. Let me know on the chat if you finished writing. These are very easy sentences. Have you finished? Great. Okay, so Discovered English 1, page 60. It says, it's a mystery. It's a mystery. And before we read a story called The Money Mystery, I'm going to ask you to look at the picture. Look at the picture we have in exercise number one. We have to look at the picture and answer. What is the story about and who are the characters? So, let's see. In this picture, what do we have? Write on the chat. What place is this? Is this a cinema? No. Is this a museum? No. Is this a restaurant? No. Is this a school? No. What is it? Very good. It's a park. Excellent. And what do you think is happening in the picture? What is the dog doing? What is the girl doing? What is the boy doing? And what is the man with his phone doing? Write on the chat. Okay, good. So, it appears that the dog here, the white dog, found a bag. And the bag, look, it has a lot of money. A lot of money. So, what happened? Is the money from the boy and the girl? Mm. Mm, no, because look, they are very surprised. They can't believe it that the dog 
found all this money. So the girl is opening the bag and she sees that it's a lot, a lot of money. And she tells the boy, what should they do? The boy is looking around. He doesn't know what to do. Or whose money is this? And here we have another character who is a man who is wearing a black jacket and a black cap. He looks very suspicious and he is talking on the phone. So, these are our characters. We have this man, the boy, the girl and the dog. So, what do you think happened? Do you know? Can you imagine what happened? Whose money is this? Okay, let's try to read part number one and find out. So, we are going to read part number one, okay? And we are also going to listen, okay? So, I'm going to play the audio and you're going to listen. You're going to follow the listening while reading it. Exercise 2. Read and listen. True or false? Correct the false sentences. Here's the winner of our discovery web. Well done, Casey! The Money Mystery by Casey Storm. Part 1. Brad is behind a tree. He's talking to Mick on the phone. Mick, I'm in the park, but there's a problem. What is it, Brad? There are children here. What children? A boy and a girl. They've got a dog. Have they got the money? No. The dog's running to the tree. Oh, no! Now they're stopping. Can they see the bag? Yes, and the girl's opening it. They're smiling. I'm not smiling, Brad. I'm not smiling at all. Oh, no! Now they're looking at me! The chips are Bella and Elliot. They are sitting in a cafe. At the moment, they're talking about the money. It's our money now. Don't be silly. Let's go to the police station. No, Bella, wait. Don't go. Okay. So, we know that the girl, her name is Bella, and the boy is Elliot. And here we have Brad. This man is called Brad. So, what happened? Who can tell me on the chat what happened in this part of the story? Whose money is it? Very good. Yes, excellent. So, this is not Brad's money, but Brad is the one who hid the money. The money was hiding near the tree, but the dog found the money. So now the kids, the children have the money and not Brad or Mick. Okay, Brad and Mick are friends, but they don't seem very nice. Okay, now 
Let's do this exercise. The dog is running at the moment. Mm -mm, look at the picture. No, that is false. The dog is sitting near the tree. Very good. Yes, that is true. At the moment, Bella and Elliot are walking. Mm, no, they are not walking. They are looking at the bag. Yes, that is true. Elliot is opening the bag. No, that is false. Who is opening the bag? Bella, the girl. Very good. A man is talking to Bella and Elliot. False. The man is talking to Mick. He's talking on the phone. Good. Okay, so now we are going to continue reading and listening this story. Okay, we are going to go to the next page, page 61, and we are going to read part two now. And look, when we read, we have to complete the story with present continuous of the verbs in brackets. Okay, so let's listen. Unit 6A, Exercise 3. Now read Part 2. Complete the story with the present continuous of the verbs in brackets. Listen and check. Part 2. Where are you now? I'm following the girl. Has she got the money? Yes, she has. She is taking it to the police station. The police station? Oh no, stop her. Elliot is angry with Bella. He is sitting in the cafe and he is listening to the news. The police are looking for a dangerous thief. He's tall with brown hair and blue eyes. The man behind the tree in the park, Elliot thinks. Oh no! Bella! Okay, so... The first one is very easy. I'm following the girl. What is the meaning of following? Seguir. Very good. Like on Instagram, on Twitter. Yes, you follow somebody. Good. Has she got the money? Yes, she has. She is taking it to the police station. <gasps> okay, very good, Bella. Bella found the money and she's taking it to the police station. That is the right thing to do. Very good, Bella. But Mick and Brad don't want the police to know. So, Mick tells Brad to stop her. Elliot is angry with Bella. He's sitting in the cafe and he's listening to the news. The police is looking for a dangerous thief. He's, the police is looking for a dangerous thief. He stole with brown hair and blue eyes. The man behind the tree in the park. Oh no, Bella. So, what happened in this part of the story? Can you tell me on the chat? What happened? Yes, very good. So, the thief is Brad and probably Mick too. So Brad and Mick 
are the thieves, and it's not their money. It's money that they stole. So let's try to see which picture shows how the story ends. Okay, we have to listen to the description of the picture and tick the correct one. Okay, so we have two pictures here. Okay, so can you tell me what is happening in this picture? Can you write sentences about this picture on the chat? What can you see in the picture? What is the girl doing? How is she? Is she happy? Is she sad? What about the thief? Is the thief happy? No, the thief looks very angry. And what about the police officers? We have one police officer. Look, who is grabbing the thief. And another police officer who has the bag with money. And the woman police officer, what is she doing? Yes, very good. She's talking to Bella and who else? Very good. She's talking to Bella and Elliot. And what do you think? Is Elliot happy? Surprised? Sad? Angry? What do you think? Yes. Elliot is surprised. Very good. Okay, and what about picture B? Yes, very good. We have that the thief is running away with the money. He has the bag with a lot of money in it. And the policemen are chasing him and the dog too. They are chasing after the thief. And look at Bella. Bella is talking on the phone. And she looks very surprised and very sad. Okay, so now let's listen to the description and tick the correct ending. Okay? Unit 6A, Exercise 4. Listen to the description and tick the correct picture. How does the story end? Two policemen are taking the man into the station. The man isn't smiling. A policewoman is talking to Bella and Elliot. Bella is listening and smiling. She's feeling happy. The other policeman is opening the bag. The dog is sitting next to Bella. Elliot is saying sorry to Bella. Okay, so Elliot is saying sorry to Bella. And Elliot is not in the second picture. So the correct ending, the correct picture is this one. Very good. This is the correct ending. The police catches the thief and they have the money back. And look, look at Bella. She looks very, very happy. And the policewoman is thanking her for helping him, them catch the thief. Very good. Okay, excellent. So, that is going to be all for today's class, okay? Have fun in Zoom and I will see you next class. Bye-bye!